Good afternoon. We've had a bit of a lie-in today. We haven't done much yet. We're just having lunch now. Alfie's outside chewing a stick. We're gonna take him for a walk soon. Before we go, we're trying yet another operating system on this laptop. This time we're trying Ubuntu Mate, because uh, it seems to have a nicer interface than the latest version of normal Ubuntu, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's not the simplest thing for older people to use. This is the streaming from the Plex server that we set up yesterday. Uh, this is a 4K file. What resolution is this streaming in? Uh, the same. This is 4K coming over Wi-Fi? Yes. Where does the downscale happen? Got Just nice. here? Yeah. This is cool though, because it means um, even though 4K streaming to my laptop is useless, we can stream 4K stuff to our 4K TV. Uh, and hopefully this server will be powerful enough to handle this fine mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. a wired network as well. So we'll set all this up properly tomorrow afternoon, once we're back in London. In the car. There's a good boy. Watch your head. Right there, Alfie. Okay. It's a bit cold today, but we're having a nice walk next to the river. Alfie's enjoying it. The last time we brought Alfie along here, um, he thought it was a good idea to jump into the river. He went over the edge and he just jumped straight in, um, but then couldn't get back out again because it's immediately deep and he has no arms to put on the side and pull himself up like humans can. So me and my dad had to drag him back out before he basically just drowned. So we've let him off the lead again, but slightly concerned that he will again feel like a swim. Unfortunately my trip home is just about over, I'm leaving at 20 past 8 tomorrow morning. A little bit annoying that we lost tonight because of the cancelled train, but the main purpose of coming here was just to, to drop things off and pick up some other stuff that I want to take back to London. I'll pack all of that stuff up when I get home. Now I'm gonna fit in a quick visit to my grandparents. Hello. Oh, lovely to see you. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Bye. I've borrowed my dad's pyjamas to wear tonight instead of skinny jeans. <laughs> We're having Indian takeaway for dinner. But before that arrives, let's get this ready to take to London. Could do the side being put back on. And another thing I want to take is this network switch. Um, because the route is also in here. Uh, there are only... Well, now I'm taking the server, there's only one computer left. <laughs> that needs Ethernet, so we really don't need a switch. But I could do with it in London. These things are things I could live without, I don't need them. Um, but I do own them and they're not doing anything useful here and I can make them do something useful in London so I just thought why not okay I've got this computer and this huge case um, I'm gonna have to pad it out a bit otherwise it'll just fall around inside just found this stuff which is perfect for padding it's just like huge not bubble wrap but air filled pockets let's squash that around and that'll be fine Good night, Alfie see you in the morning It's 7.30, it's almost time to leave. Obviously we've got the train up here, which is how I'd usually travel to and from home. And I normally book my train tickets 12 weeks in advance because that's as early as you can buy them and that's how to get the cheapest prices. But we only organised this trip about three weeks ago, so the train tickets were already quite expensive for getting back to London today. And we couldn't afford it, so we've got a mega bus back to London. I look very orange in this light, don't I? 
That's better. I've done this like five times before. Um, it's gonna take six hours, 40 minutes, arriving at three o'clock in London. Unlike National Express buses, megabuses don't stop at all on the way. You don't get any service station breaks. So it's not the nicest journey, but it's like five pounds. I know what to expect from it. I'm not sure Claudio does. <laughs> Good morning, Alfie. How did you sleep? Presumably not in here. It's a bit cold and uncomfortable in here, isn't it? See you at Easter, Alfie. <laughs> All right, let's go. Bye. Case is on the bottom of the bus. We've got seats. Not really anyone else here. Six hours, 40 minutes. Here we go. Getting some work done. Doesn't be too bad so far. We finally arrived. I had my laptop out for a bit of time on the coach. It's not as nice using a laptop on a coach as it is on a train. Uh, but I was still trying to get some things done. And then the guy in front of me decided to put a seat back. And I really don't understand why coaches and planes let you put the seat so far back. Because obviously it makes it a nicer journey for him. But for the person behind, me in this case, it was horrendous. But I didn't have any room for my laptop left. I barely had room for my knees. So the last two hours I couldn't really do anything. But we're here. I'm off. Finally able to stretch my legs. I'm going to get a bus uh, back to the flat. We're back in the flat. Oh god, I'm worn out from that bus journey. Good flies. Yay, Claudio got an Amazon delivery and ordered me some colourful cable ties. <laughs> Claudio got new brushes for his Roomba as well. That actually works. <laughs> One thing I brought uh, is this speaker stand. It's a really old one and it's silver which doesn't really fit in with all the black and white furniture. But I already had it so it'll do for now at least. I've got my projector over there next to my bed and I'm using this wall in front of my bed as the projector screen and I want a speaker to either side. There's one over there. Um, this is an improvement over having it on the floor because with this it's in line with the other speaker and it's at a more sensible height. What I stupidly didn't think about is how to actually attach the speaker to the stand. If I could just blue tack it because I haven't got any of the screws or whatever came with the speaker stand. The blue tack wasn't working um, so I've just put an elastic band around it. That will hold it for now. Um, apart from that, this is better. The next thing is this server that I brought home. Okay, this is the final server cupboard additions for now, this, this new one. and. This replacement switch, because uh, this sort of home-looking one is going to go somewhere else, and this more professional one can stay in here. Right, there we go. This is all a mess, but I'll tidy that up another time. I haven't turned this on yet. Don't really need it today. And I'll give a full tour of all of this stuff in a future video when I'll show you around the whole flat in more detail. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.